What's up, guys? So, if you watched my previous videos, you know I was uh, coming up here to Montana for my first out-of-state hunt. So we got up here Sunday about two o'clock or so, and started hunting Sunday evening. And it, it's been a grind. Uh, hunted Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, and didn't see an actual animal in the shootable hunting zone. And uh, we finally got on something this morning. I passed on two forkies uh, that had in the crosshairs. Decided. I'd wait it out a little bit, see what came up. Uh, this is now Wednesday evening. We're kind of planning to wrap it up tomorrow. So I just didn't want to go home with tag soup. So we started our hunt here about an hour ago. Came up on a pack of three, two forkies um, and a doe. So I decided, you know what, it's, I'm gonna go ahead and take this forky uh, so I can at least take something home. So it's about an 85 yard shot, maybe, maybe a little less. It wasn't very far at all. Uh, they seen us, kind of moved lined up behind some trees, tried to take the biggest one out of the two. They're both pretty similar in size. Uh, wasn't a very, like I said, more big deer. It was a forky, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm proud of every deer I take. This is going to be a good meat deer. I was hoping to maybe get something a little bigger I could mount. Uh, but this is still still going to be meat in the freezer. Uh, proud of the shot, proud of the take. Uh, it was earned. Like I said, we, we put some miles in grinding, trying to find these deer, and we finally found them. It was, like I said, a, a really struggle on getting a uh, – really strive on getting a good shot. So this thing dropped right where I shot it. So just a parental guidance warning. Uh, we're here standing here, deer's over my left shoulder. It's got some blood on it from the exit wound, the way it's land. So if you don't like to see that stuff, now's the time to turn the video off. But I uh, wanted to show you the take here, show the shot placement. It was, it was great. Like I said, everything worked out. It was a nice clean harvest and it went straight down. So without further ado here, we'll check it out. Said, forky mule deer here in Montana. Uh, like I said, we we hunted our butts off the last couple of days, and like I said, I just didn't want to go home with nothing. So opportunity presented itself, and I was uh, happy to get a take here and take some meat home. So the old uh, old Tika worked worked good. She was spot on. Like I said, it was it was great shot placement. This deer actually dropped where where I where I shot. So. It made it nowhere. It was a nice, fast, clean, ethical harvest. So, anyways, guys, just want to bring that to you. I told you I was coming to Montana. So, tagged out. This all I had was a combo tag, deer tag. So, it's uh, it's over and done with. And I filled the tag, and we'll be uh, trying out the new gutless method on this thing. Well, new for me, old, but I've never tried it. So, we're gonna try the gutless method to pack it out. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.